In the 540s AD, Rome was under siege, and General Belisarius was sent to relieve the city. He put 200 barges on the river, and filled them with enough grain to feed the starving population. Slight problem, between him and the city was a massive fortified bridge, with two massive towers on either side. So he came up with a plan. He sent some people over to pretend to be defectors, but in reality they used that as a ploy to get close enough to take the measurements of the tower. Now that they knew the exact dimensions of the tower, they knew exactly how tall their own tower wanted to be if they were going to build a taller tower. That's right. They built a tower taller than both of them on either side of the ridge, put it on top of two barges, floated it down the stream, put a boat on top of their tower, filled the boat with flammable material like tar and stuff, set the boat on fa f set the boat on fire, and uh, dropped it on one of the towers. The tower that they dropped a boat on uh, was incinerated. There is, of course, the question of how much of this is true. I got this information from a book that was written by a historian who was alive at the time. A, a historian, by the way, who was uh, good friends with Belisarius. Now, Belisarius ended up failing to relieve the city in the end. However, the failure, according to the book, is largely blamed on Belisarius's incompetent subordinates. I'm not saying that this is definitely false. Uh, I'm just saying that, um, how are you supposed to build a massive tower with an extremely low centre of gravity, clearly, and uh, float it along, float it along two barges, and how are you supposed to construct that off the cuff? You can tell me in the comments if you believe this story, but personally, I think there's at least some element of uh, incorrectness to it. 